Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Couch. Let me start today's episode by just saying Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. Hopefully it's miles better than 2020. I don't want to look back on this video in 2022 and go, James, you naive boy, didn't you realize that two weeks later... Uh, Terraria would explode. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I want this to be a really good year. I feel like we all deserve it. Um, and I feel like for the channel, 2021 is going to be maybe the golden age of Chippy's Couch. I learned so much about myself in 2020. I learned about the importance of routine and discipline. And I really do feel like a better YouTuber. I feel like if I take a break now... I get back into it way quicker than ever before, and I find that my, like, daily streaks... Isn't that, like, a, a term kids use? <laughs> oh, I've got to keep up with my streak. I don't really know what that means. Um, but my daily streak is a lot longer now, and I'm really proud of that. So, um, so hopefully it's a good year. I mean, 2020, on a personal level for YouTube, best year of my life. Like, I had the best opportunities last year. The channel was amazing, great series, but you know, we got to top it. You've always got to top it, because why not, right? Why not? Um, but two mistakes straight out of the bat for 2021. Number one, I can't download any new games on Steam because the Steam download servers are down. So you remember that whole, oh, I'm going to play a new game every Friday. Can't do it because I don't have any games downloaded. And then the other one is I did record half of an episode for this. Um, and I didn't realize that I didn't actually click record. Now, I want to put that down to the fact that I was up quite late last night and I'm quite tired. Um, but to be fair, it was probably the boring part of the episode anyway. I did some fishing and I got a Cosmolite. I'll show you the little portion of my world that we made. Look, we made a little fishing pond and we did some fishing. It required uh, a few fish, a lot of souls of light, which was actually fairly easy to get because the fishing took about half an hour. And then we needed some pixie dust. So, like, what did we really miss out on, guys? Absolutely nothing. So, New Year's resolution. We'll pick up with that next Friday, Friday the 7th. That will be the first week that we do it. Your New Year's resolution on the channel is to make sure you give every video a big fat thumbs up. All right? It really helps the channel. If you could do it at the start of every episode, it would be amazing. Just just make it a thing. Uh, so, we have the Rod of Discord now. We have the, the Cosmolite. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, we are ready for uh, for bosses. So, we'll do um, a mechanical boss fight. I'm trying to think of which one to do. I, I don't really mind. Um, we could do any of them, you know? And at least, like, we're kicking off an episode with a good bit of fun. Which is always good to see. Uh, but I will take some shiny boys, some night owl potions, and... I'll also take some on uh, for you mobile gang at home. Yeah, it was interesting. I mentioned the old mobile gang thing yesterday. And everyone was just like... I'm mobile gang. I'm mobile gang. I know. There's a lot of mobile gang. Even I'm kind of mobile gang. The majority of videos I watch are usually on my phone. So I, I totally understand. I relate. I can connect. I know the vibes. All right. Okay. So lots of deep sea staff. Uh, I did get a lot of recommendations from you lot about new weapons and such. But I feel like I just want to get over this mechanical hump and crack on. Rather than shifting focus to, uh, to other bosses for now. See, this is interesting, because we've not actually tried the Destroyer yet, but I don't know if we're good enough. I think I might go Mechanical Skull, mainly because, um, yeah, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go Mechanical Skull. We'll go Skelly Prime, mainly because this wasn't too bad yesterday. Well, actually, that is a, that is a blatant lie. It was pretty bad, but I feel like the Rod of Discord might be able to do something, hopefully. Let me slap down one of these bad boys as well. I have no idea what that's going to do. But it'll do something. So yeah, hopefully you all had a, a good New Year's. I feel like for a lot of people, it was probably their first ever digital New Year's. Which is, yeah, kind of crazy. Uh, me and Court basically just... Uh, we watched Netflix for about seven hours. We ordered pizza. We had some drinks, which was really nice. I always get gifted a lot of alcohol for Christmas. So I try and work my way through it as quickly as possible. <laughs> so so that was good. I enjoyed that. 
Um, and then what else? Um, that was pretty much it. I watched the fireworks on the BBC. I didn't know they were doing fireworks for the BBC this year, so I, that was a really nice surprise. I think they... Alright, I don't know if this is right, but I'm going to assume, right? I think they tried to, to kind of keep the whole fireworks thing hush hush for very obvious reasons. So people wouldn't go and try and go see them in real life. I don't know if people actually did go see them in real life. Hopefully not, right? Because it's London. It's it's in lockdown. Um, same here, right? Um, so that was a really nice surprise. It was it was cool to use the combination of like fireworks and, and projectors to, to make these really sick holograms in the sky. Yeah, just really nifty. Um, and that's that's what I did. That's all I got up to. And then I stayed up for about three hours watching David Attenborough documentaries. <laughs> and that was my night. So I'm, I'm pretty tired today. But yeah, it's like I say, Jim mentioning how it's probably people's first digital New Year's. I have had a digital New Year's before. Let me tell you at the time, when I was a kid, and I was probably about 13 years old, and instead of going out to a party with my friends, I stayed in and had a Farmville New Year's. <laughs> And you may not remember what the game Farmville is, but it was kind of like a bad mobile game, but built into Facebook. <laughs> and it was kind of before mobile games were, were getting anywhere. Like at the time, I think the biggest mobile game was probably Angry Birds, to be honest. So, you know, the bar was already set. But um, but I remember that so vividly. It was a good New Year's. They had a little item in the game. I think it was like a barn, like a farm barn. And it had like a big golden globe in it and it would drop at midnight and it actually did and I was very impressed I was like they're never gonna do it. I was like no way that they're gonna actually make this thing drop at midnight But they did right. Thank you Farmville for all the good memories. Farmville's gone now It's not actually a game that you can play anymore Well, anyway, that's the Farmville segment of the episode over Um, oh Man, I can't believe we're in a new year new year new me. I think this year um God, it's, it's, oh, it's so interesting because you you want it to be a good year. You you think that, you know, 2020 was so bad. You're like, well, it's got to be good. I mean, technically it hasn't, but I'm just kind of hoping it is. All right. So I feel like um, the Rod of Discord portion of this fight, I don't feel like I'm getting any better, really. I am also curious. So you know how in Calamity, you've got to hold the summon out to, to get extra damage and such? Um, does that still count if you're just holding a rod of discord? I think it I think it only matters if you're holding a different weapon, right? So if you're holding like a bow It's not like oh well, um, you, do you know what I mean? Kind of hard to explain. All right, go on. Please deal damage summons, please These summons are so bad at actually targeting. It's it's kind of unreal <laughs> I need you to latch on and to do me better, please come on So I'm not gonna lie um, I, I've gone silent, by the way, just to try and focus a little bit more. I don't feel like I'm going to even be able to do this fight within the amount of time that we've got. My summons just don't latch on quick enough uh, to kind of keep up with this fight. But I have found a, a better rhythm with this portion. And I've also found that if you just fall like this, the laser don't actually hit you, which is kind of nice. But I need more damage. And I think, um, t I should have really listened to you lot. You lot recommending better summons. I kind of just thought, oh wow, it's another phase here. Yeah, I kind of just thought that, you know, if I can do it with ease, I'd rather just do it with ease. But I, I can kind of see why you've recommended them now. They probably, like, latched on a little bit better. Had slightly better AI, stuff like that. Kind of the, the same issues we've been running into with Summoner all throughout this series so far. It's just that the AI is kind of garbage. And it's the worst thing to say, but it's very true. And apparently it's all like limitations upon limitations kind of thing. But I think a lot of these really need a reworking or something. But um, it was nice because Cargo commented on the last episode. Cargo's actually played Calamity as a summoner. Um, and he said that his biggest hurdle was probably like here. But after this, it all started to ease up a little bit. That's interesting to know. That's interesting to know. I think for me, I just want better AI. Because if I had better AI, I really wouldn't be um, so upset. But it's weird because you've kind of got to slow down with these fights a little bit. And that's a bit where the challenge comes in. I have run out of buffs. So let me get some more buffs on the go. Alright, and we got another adrenaline hit. So we're definitely doing better than yesterday in terms of just, like, survivability. But we can't let up. We've got we've to stay strong. 
Oh, it's getting really close, but I'm one hit away from death. So this is not good at all. Please survive. Summons, please hit. Summons. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Skeletron Prime is dead. Nice. And we got some lore. All right. Let's 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 start with the lore. Skeletron Prime. What a silly and pointless contraption for something created with the essence of pure terror. Drayden obviously took several liberties with its design. I am not impressed. Christ Calamity. All right. <laughs> Throwing shade. Favorite this item to gain a boost to your armor penetration. However, your max acceleration is decreased due to feeling heavier. Uh, the mechanical bosses. I see you have awoken Drayden's old toys. Once useful tools turned into savage beasts when their AIs went rogue. Very cool. Bam. Open this up. Hey, look at that. We got um, we got Senex's set. Also got Lucky on it as well. Kind of cool. All right. Pretty nifty stuff. Um... Well, I think because the episode is kind of short, uh, what we'll do is we'll bang out um, another one, maybe? Can I can I actually make another one? That's a good point, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think I've used... Um, mm, yeah, I've used all my souls of of night. So I've got to do... Uh, I've got to do the twins. Go on, then. We'll do, we'll do the twins. I was kind of debating it. I was like, ah, should we do it? Should we not? All right, let's, let's buy some buffs and get into the next fight. This is good though. We're making we're making progress. I think overall, you know, having um, a little bit more focus helped mainly. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus now on getting these buffs. Right, shiny boys, uh, night owl boys, hunter boys, um, wrath. Let's get some calamity ones as well. Don't want to forget about them. Cadence, uh, soaring. Do we, no, we don't need photosynthesis. We'll get the simulant, stimulant, whatever. Get Tesla as well, because it looks cool. All right. Okay, cool. So let me get rid of my uh, summons again. So where are you? Uh, here we go. All right. Really summon these in. Nice. Uh, we'll go to the homeland. We'll swap it to uh, nighttime. Or daytime. The nighttime. All right, cool. Let's, uh, let's do the twins. I don't know how this is going to go. Hopefully better than before. Oh, wait, I did it one more time. Uh, bam. There we go. All right, cool. So uh, so I said the other day that I was going to talk about some Pixar movies. I think it's finally the time. I think if I can uh, relax during this fight, I should be all right to, to talk. Um, so, yeah, I went on a, a bit of a Pixar binge over Christmas, mainly because on Christmas Day, Disney were like, hey, you remember that film that was meant to come out, Soul? Well, here's Soul. So I, uh, I started off with Soul. And I really loved it. It was probably the first uh, Pixar movie in a few years that I've seen that I like really enjoyed. And I was like, this is really creative and it's really clever. And it made me think. I was it very, um, you know, I had a good message to it. You know, to it kind of the whole core message of the film was to was to basically to embrace life, to not focus too much on your purpose or some main goal. You know, it's it's about the little moments. It's about living, right? So I really enjoyed Souls. So that made me want to watch some others. So then I watched um, Onward, which I completely skipped because I just thought this looks like a kids movie. And I'm not too into kids movies, right? Or plain kids movies, right? It just looked too kiddie. But then again, I was like, this is really good. And I really liked the message. And it's fun. And it's funny. So I feel like I'm becoming a Pixar fan again. I used to love Pixar as a kid, but I kind of went off them around Toy Story 3. Um, but then I watched The Incredibles 2, and that was good. Um, I think it was nice. I went into it with, with kind of no expectations. Whereas I feel like a lot of people that watched The Incredibles 2 probably went into it wanting, um, I don't know, something a bit more because it's been like 15 years or whatever since the first Incredibles. So that was really good. Um, and then I spoke about it a moment ago. Uh, but I, I've also started getting into David Attenborough. I'd actually never watched anything about David Attenborough in my life until last week. Um, and then I watched his most recent uh, Netflix documentary, the one that starts in Chernobyl. And that was really good. And I was like, all right, now I'm hooked. So I've been watching um, his documentaries from the 70s. And they've been very cool. So that's what I've been into recently, which has been nice. Um, like I said, like two episodes ago, I picked up some, um, some fancy headphones. So I've been kind of just watching a lot more now. Uh, just because I kind of want to listen to the, the fancy sound. Bam. All right. Okay, so I might be silent for a little bit just to enjoy the rest of this fight <laughs> and not die. 
All right, so one eyeball is dead. So now we have to deal with this one combined with those really pesky uh, shadow flames that kind of uh, screw you over a little bit. So this one is once again a fight against the AI because this is such a, a fast moving boss. And obviously our AI for our summons is really slow, which is a bit of annoyance. Frick, Good. this is bad. This is really bad. I think I might have actually ruined this fight for myself. We'll see. Hopefully I can stay a bit more focused. Oh Christ, no, I, I, no I've definitely lost this one. Oh, this one's brutal. <laughs> I thought I'd honestly win it. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, I went into it feeling pretty good. Nah, no chance. It's so fast. I feel like it's way faster than me. And I feel like obviously the rod of discord is only so good. You know, it has a, a cap on it of, of how many seconds. All right, so overall, pretty pretty successful episode, um, but not quite, right? Not quite. It could have been a little bit better. So I think what we'll do then, should we have a little look at what we need for, um, I think it was the Souls of, Light, uh, Souls of Night, wasn't it? Should we gather some Souls of Night real quick and go see what the, the third boss is about? I think what we'll do is we'll probably do the third boss uh, tomorrow, but we may as well gather all the stuff for it now. All right, so um, so I've got some Souls of Night. I think we might just do it. I think I can, yeah, I, th I th yeah, I want to do it. I want to, I want to try it. Um, have we got enough buffs to, to get into this? Yeah, we have. We've we've got all the buffs we need. Go on, let's do it. Let's let's challenge ourselves. I want to. Well, it would be nice to end on a big win. Uh, so let's dump in some of these souls. I'm sure these souls are going to be like really useful uh, later on. Uh, like for upgrading the, the boots and stuff. Uh, mechanical worm. Here we go. All right. Honestly, I've got no clue how this is going to go as a summoner. This is not a fight I do very often. Um, well, I've never done this in modded as a summoner. So this could be really hard. Uh, let me let me respawn these. Right. Let me, let me get all prepared. All right. We're, we're buffed up. Our health's almost full. Uh, we'll change it to nighttime. We're just going to wait a little bit longer. I <laughs> just want a little bit more health. Okay, right. Wait for it. I want to get to 520. Or get somewhat close. Alright, bam. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to target it. And then get out the way. So immediately, we just lost 250 health. Just from letting the, um, the boss hit me. Which is really dumb. That's not a good move at all. But I guess the good thing about this fight is that we can be a little bit more aggressive with where we move. Because it's not like we're going to get too trapped, mainly because we have um, we have that Rod of Discord. So obviously there will be a, uh, a Calamity twist to this. Don't really know what that is yet. It could be absolutely awful. It could be something generic like um, it spits out flaming cursed balls. I don't know. <laughs> Kind of depends. Alright, so that's obviously not great. Lots of lots of lasers there. Oh, I think I just remembered that the twist with this fight is that you uh, you need to bring a warmth potion because the fight will freeze you. I think that's what the twist is. <laughs> so in that case, I don't think I've done very well. I think some of these like electrocute you or something like that as well. Something something bizarre, right? Basically we're in for a bad time. Okay, can I teleport out of here anytime soon? No. Right, we've got to keep on cracking on. Keep on moving on. All right, I'm going to go underneath the boss fight this time. See, the thing is, obviously a lot of probes are coming out. I kind of want to, you know, you just want to avoid them in a way. So I kind of don't want to linger around. All right, let's get that adrenaline. Please, please boss get close so that the adrenaline can do something. Thank you very much. That was actually a fair decent bit of adrenaline that hit. That actually wasn't too bad. All right, let me make sure that this is actually targeting. Oh my god, it's so weird when you fight it like this, where it's just kind of like out and about. It really is like um like playing Terraria Snake. I bet you. See, I haven't played Snake since an actual Nokia phone. I reckon there's so many different like new remixed versions of Snake that are absolutely intense. There we go. All right. We ended on a big win. <laughs> kind of like um, like some of the variants of Pac-Man. All right. Cool. So we'll open that up. Uh, did we get the, the lore? 
Let me see if... Did I leave it behind? I don't know. Or did I actually grab it? Oh, no, I did. The Destroyer. A machine brought to life by the mighty souls of warriors and built to excavate massive tunnels in planets to gather resources. Could have proven useful if Drea didn't, didn't have an obsession with turning everything into a tool of destruction. All right, cool. Uh, so that's that done. All right, this is great. So just one more mechanical boss and this saga is finally over. So just once again, guys, thank you so much for, uh, for supporting the channel last year. It was... It was just incredible. It really was. We did so much. I want to talk about it real quick. Um, so we had amazing series like uh, Fargo Soul Mod. We had our very own item in Terraria. We launched channel memberships, which was just like really cool. And I love seeing everybody's badges in the comments. Oh god, it like we got early access to 1.4. We got to post the first ever Let's Play episode of 1.4 ever. Um, we had Featherworthy, and we've had this. Rippy was left behind. <laughs> but it's, I don't know, it's just been, it's been a really good one. All right, see you all tomorrow, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Give the video a fat thumbs up. Shout out to our channel members. Check out my Amazon affiliates in the link down below. I found out that if you just use the link and then buy something else that day, uh, it still gives a kickback to the channel. That's very cool. So keep that in mind if you ever want to buy anything off Amazon. If you just use one of my links to start you off, uh, I get the kickback. Um, and it's a nice little way to support me. And then it's no cost to you, blah, blah, blah. Right. <laughs> Have a great one, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.